Massachusetts Breast Cancer Coalition is a nonprofit organization dedicated to preventing cancer before it starts. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in my 30s. Right now, I'm living with stage four metastatic breast cancer for the past 12 years. For me, I, I looked at obituaries, actually. I started seeing who's dying of breast cancer. Other healthy people were dying of breast cancer. I wanted to know why. Unfortunately, worldwide breast cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths in women. The National Cancer Institute reports that in the United States today, a woman's lifetime risk of being diagnosed with breast cancer is one in eight. That's a 40% increase in the past four decades. Our risk have nearly tripled in the past 60 years. In Massachusetts, Breast cancer incidence rates are 5% higher than the national average. And from 2005 to 2009, Massachusetts had the third highest rates in the country. I am truly thankful and grateful to all the men and women, past and present, who have dedicated their lives to finding treatment and diagnosing breast cancer. But for me, and for everyone in the organization, True prevention is stopping breast cancer before it starts. A closer look at the numbers shows that known genetics or lifestyle risk factors are present in only 20 to 30% of breast cancer diagnosis. So we asked, what's causing the other 70 to 80%? Since World War II, over 85,000 new synthetic chemicals have been manufactured and released onto the market. These chemicals are around us every day in our homes, schools, workplaces, playgrounds, store shelves, everywhere. Some of these synthetic chemicals are carcinogenic or cancer-causing chemicals. Others are endocrine disruptors or chemicals that disrupt the normal functioning of hormones in the body, sometimes by mimicking the natural occurring hormone estrogen. Lifetime exposure to estrogen is strongly implicated in breast cancer risk, so it makes sense that chemicals which mimic estrogen would play a role in breast cancer. We want to take a look at these products and we want policy changes to regulate and enforce regulations so that these chemicals of concern, these contaminants are no longer seen in our air, our water, our land, and in our bodies. We are all vulnerable. We all live with a daily and lifelong exposure of contaminants in our environment. This contamination starts from the womb and goes throughout our lifetime. There are billions and billions of dollars that are spent on breast cancer. These billions of dollars go to treatment and early diagnosis. That leaves only one to 3% of breast cancer funding resources to go to primary prevention. Massachusetts Breast Cancer Coalition takes a unique approach to breast cancer. True prevention means reducing the contamination, health impacts, and health care costs resulting from chemicals linked to cancer in our daily environments. We advocate for a precautionary principle. The precautionary principle states that indication of harm, not proof of harm, is our call to action. We take that seriously. We have a sister organization that we founded called Silent Spring Institute. They do impactful research to take a look at the environmental contaminants that are affecting all of us and increasing breast cancer rates. Massachusetts Breast Cancer Coalition advocates and disseminates the research information by community education. We need to make sure that Silent Spring Institute is able to continue to do this important research. Plus, we advocate for policy change. If we don't have our voices, if we don't have a coalition, if you, everyone out there, doesn't join us with their voice for higher environmental standards, the breast cancer rates will just continue and continue 
generation after generation. Thank you.